What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting episode. And yes, it's not clickbait, right? We are literally fishing adjacent to a facility that's very important to national security and the well-being of the United States. And it's like right over there. I can't show you guys, right? I, just, I don't want the feds be knocking on my door or anything like that. Not that I'm doing anything illegal, but uh, yeah. So the plan is to use some paddle tails, fish this area. It's not too massive, it's not big. But there's a lot of undulations, meaning drop-offs, apexes, lots of mud, lots of oyster. Uh, so redfish, flounder, hopefully, speckled trout, uh, probably not. Maybe speckled trout, it's kind of a little bit rare out here. But flounder and redfish for sure are the targeted species today. Guys, I appreciate every one of you guys that clicked on the video. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Please, please leave a comment. You guys don't leave enough comments. And yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Alright, as I pass all these barges that are kind of parked to the side here, don't know why, maybe you guys are more knowledgeable about barges and how they work, <laughs> uh, whether they're supposed to be parked at a certain time or I don't see any fog, so not sure. But uh, yeah, these things are massive, man. You got to be careful if you're in a kayak, guys, especially if you like to fish in our area near the ICW. A lot of big barges, so watch out, I man. You're not going to survive getting hit by one of these. Man, look how beautiful it is. Despite the winds, overcast, I'm not complaining. I am super blessed to be doing what I'm doing here on YouTube, bringing you guys fishing videos here off the Texas coast. Woo, look at that bird. Wildlife is beautiful. Scenery is beautiful. There's not another kayaker out here, although there are a couple other boaters. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna see if we can smash some fish with God's good grace. All right, what is the game plan? The game plan is really simple. Uh, this area is pretty shallow and there's a lot of good structure like oysters, drains, cuts, um, things of that nature. I wouldn't say there's a, there's a lot of those, but there are a handful in this little spot here. So I'm just kind of meticulously work my way through targeting these structures. And at the same time, I'm gonna keep my eyes open and ears or eyes peeled and ears open for any type of blow up, maybe some shrimp popping, anything that's going to resemble a predatory fish chasing bait. So yeah, that's the plan, pretty simple. Man, that water level is really high, man. Abnormally high. So that's a little bit of concern, but at the same time, that's a little bit of a relief because as I said, this spot is super super skinny and having this much water would aid me in um, gliding through the back but <laughs> with the winds though you know I mean it doesn't really count right it kind of negates itself okay, what are these birds doing here kind of has me curious on what's going on it's seagulls that's always a good sign when they're picking off bait right here near the grass line. Nice, real nice. Oh man, I don't know if I recorded it, but I just caught a nice speckled trout right here, about five feet deep. I was looking at some birds that are kind of chasing some bait or catching bait rather and I think maybe there's some specks kind of running in the deep part of this area where that boater went but man it's a nice fish all right ladies and gentlemen first fish of the day nice keeper speckled trout very thick very healthy as I stated I apologize sometimes I'm just GoPro illiterate where I don't know how to use a GoPro and apparently I like to film the aftermath the after catch and not the before so excuse me for that but yeah, nice trout, let's let them go. Super happy way to start the day. Man, nice 
freaking trout. There you go, buddy. Make some babies. <laughs> well, okay, first fish down. Let's see if we can get another one. I'm just gonna kind of work this deep part, look for birds, and the birds are like right there working again. Very encouraging when a plan comes to fruition. Although it is still early, let's not hold our breath for too long here. We're gonna meticulously work our way. Like this area right here, or this spot is pretty deep, deeper than I, what I remember, to be frank. I'm just gonna have, have these uh, homegrown drones lead me the way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yep, getting thumped. Lots of bait here. Could be like pinfish too, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got something on, something small. And he got off. Might have been a small flounder. And that's kind of what I've been uh, intuitively trying to target this flounder because I know it's very soft mud down there mixed with oyster. And along with this grass line, it leads a pretty good uh, um, area to fish for flounder, in my opinion. So, we're gonna keep working the bottom here, see if we can get lucky. There we go. That feels like a feels like a good fish. Nice flounder. I knew they're gonna be here, man. I knew they're gonna be here. It's a good flounder. I take it, bro. I would take it. Come here, come here. Oh, he's a he's a puller. Oh, we got you, buddy. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, man. Look at that, guys. Look at that flat boy right there. Probably about 16, 16 and a half maybe thick fillets. He is coming home with me. It's been a while since we've eaten flounder and my family has been asking me to catch it. But I just suck at flounder fishing lately. Uh, it used to be pretty good, but I don't know what happened. But yeah, we got this boy on. Let's string him up. Super happy to catch this guy. Yeah. There we go. That felt good. That felt good. Might be another flounder in the way it's pulling. Might be another flounder. If it is, it's a good one. Or it could be a redfish. It's got some pull on them. It's a small old red. <laughs> That's a rat. Multiple spotter rat. That felt good nonetheless though. <laughs> All right, he's not a real giant, right? But look at those spots on him and he's gone, dang it. Well, y'all saw that, right? <laughs> Got something on here, baby. Might be another flounder, the way he's pulling. I believe so, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. All right, man. If this is my. If this is a second keeper flounder, man, I want to call it a day, man. That's what I've been looking for. He's pulling hard down. Come on, buddy. Oh my God, it was a big gar. Ha ha ha! Damn, it was a huge gar. There we go. Nice. Another flounder, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He hit that real good. Come in here, buddy. He got you. He got you. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Pulling drag. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Come on here. We got you. We got you. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Now this is a bruiser of a flounder, man. Goodness gracious. 17 all day. Thick, thick fillets. He's been eating real good. He went for that paddle tail 
like there was no tomorrow. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Two flounder is what I wanted for dinner, and I got what I wanted. Man, man, oh man. I know I'm repetitive at times, but when a plan comes to fruition, really, I can't, I mean, <laughs> I mean, just to come out here is awesome to fish, but to grind it and get what you really want, that's the way you do it, ladies and gentlemen. 17 and a half inches right there. All right, let's talk about the equipment I'm using today. I know I do this at the end of pretty much every video because I have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome, guys. Uh, right now, we are using the Old 18 Buoyancy Light Action 7-foot casting rod made in USA, all components, high quality, very high-end rod. There's a discount code and a link below, RX Angler 20, save 20% off your order. We're also using the Shimano Metanium. This is a 2021, 2020 model, I believe. Uh, it's the original one that's come out. Uh, not the shallow edition and not the new Metanium 100, which I'll get on my channel soon, so stay tuned. Uh, we're using Verivus 1.5 gauge braided line. At the end, we are using 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. If you're looking to purchase any of this stuff, there's discount codes in the description box below. Yeah guys, I had a heck of a day. Really happy I chose the spot because of the winds. This was one of my many, I wouldn't say many options, but select few options that would give me protection from the winds. Even though I didn't really get that much protection, I, I'm not gonna complain because I enjoy myself out here. Caught two nice big flounder, nice big speckled trout. Could have had a Texas lamb, but I lost the other redfish. But it is what it is, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, hit that like button, leave a comment. You don't leave enough comments. I need to hear you talk, all right? And also hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. I love every single one of you. And we'll catch you on the next one.